Now, let us take up this bet. A 65 year old woman, blood pressure is 150 by 90, abdominal examination shows a pulsatile palpable mass, abdominal CT has been shown to you, abdominal CT, right doctor? So you have a clear look at the abdominal CT, by now you should come with some inference. So how do you want to manage and what does this abdominal CT indicate? What is your diagnosis? And how do you want to manage this given case? Some of you are going to be the cardiothoracic surgeons. After finishing your MS general surgery, 155 online. Please uh, call your other friends also to join this uh, national telecast freely so that you get the shine on the edge of your sword to prepare for the need PG. Yes. Please uh, shoot your answer, doctor. Akshay Dubey says aneurysm. Very good. Vishwadarshini is uh, saying do an angiogram and take up for surgery. Arthi is saying cross-matched RBC. Arthi is a cardiothoracic vascular surgeon. MCH from Sanjay Gandhi Postgraduate Institute. That is, Arthi is going to be in another five years, I am very sure. So, doctor, this is a ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm. So, that is the reason first priority is always airway breathing circulation. So, if there is a dissecting aortic aneurysm, there the blood pressure control is the choice. But here already there is a ruptured aortic aneurysm. You have to urgently, urgently replenish the circulation by giving the, the um, fluid, I mean the blood is uh, considered to be the management of choice. 65 year old man, complaint of double vision. Question number 5, shoot your answers. Covering either eye causes the diplopia to resolve. Then what is the most likely cause of diplopia? A diplopia which resolves by covering either of the eye. You like to consider monocular diplopia or binocular diplopia and accordingly what is your answer? Akshay Chuk says myasthenia. Come on, do wrong but don't do such a blunder. Ravi, Ravi usually as usual rocks with the answer C. Ritu Raz also, Ash also and uh, all those who said isolated cranial nerve palsy. Generally, he has a binocular diplopia. The one which resolves by closing one of the eye is only possible if there is a, a isolated uniocular diplopia because of the cranial nerve palsy. That is how you recognize. This is a serious question, doctor. If you answer this wrong, go back to the U Medico app, video library, psychiatry, schizophrenia topic discussion is there. You have to revise at least 30 to 45 minutes of review. Video is there on the U Medico app, right? So, shoot your answer, doctor. I'm seeing flat effect. Priya Darshini, Sahu, everyone. Vishnu Raj says delusions. I think Vishnu Raj is the odd man out in the herd of the sheep. Be very careful. Examiner and competition are like the tiger behind the bushes. If you are little out of the herd, entire herd is answering, but you are only one. The last goat left over, it will catch you, right? That should not happen. You should go to exam like a lion, confident with all 650 topics. Attack should be your policy, not defense. So, schizophrenia may, the negative symptoms, positive symptoms, which will respond to the medical therapy, how do you manage the negative symptoms is one of the favorite area, which you should be sure. Dilated cardiomyopathy, how do you want to, uh, how do you, what is the most common cause is a very important question. Narayan Santuku 
says idiopathic. Kit crazy says a silly. Right. So, doctor, remember, patient is pathetic and doctor is idiotic. Those idiopathic scenarios are there, right? They are generally, agar wo options mein hai, toh, that becomes the most common cause. Most common cause of the hypertension, idiopathic is the most common cause, is what need to be remembered. A 42 year old presents with pain, warmth, and swelling on the posterior elbow. He does electrical work where he leans on his elbow. You have done the aspiration from this uh, elbow area, whatever you are seeing, that swelling. If the WBC count is more than how much in this aspiration from this bump, you like to consider it as a sign of infection is what examiner is trying to ask you. What is your answer, doctor? What is the sign of infection when you aspirate the fluid? A WBC count more than. Akshay says more than 10,000. Kushbu is trying to give 50,000. Graseline vinyl, everyone says 10,000. Beautiful, beautiful. Now you know your cohort. That's most important, doctor. What is this session's importance is? You get a lot of MCQs in every book. You get explanatory answers also in the book. What you don't get? You don't get 158 community to be along with you. You'll be knowing how this entire competition is doing and how I am doing. You will get a ready-made assessment of others. Which is the source of inspiration to open the book and study every day. So that is my whole purpose. Luckily, technology enables that. Now, doctor, what is the most effective treatment of the lithium poisoning is my question to all of you. Lokyajai, the answer, you should be doubly sure. Ravi proposes hemodialysis, so also Arthi. See, now Vishnu Raju is the odd man out of the herd. So he has to review. Everyone says D. Absolutely right. Bavel irrigation with polyethylene glycol, intravenous saline rehydration and dialysis in severe cases. Activated charcoal won't help you. Where is bicarbonate important? Tricyclic antidepressant poisoning. And for beta blockade over beta blocker overdosage, glucagon is considered to be the treatment of choice. It is not beta agonist. It is the glucagon which is considered the treatment of choice whenever it is beta blocker overdose is what need to be remembered. What is the most appropriate antihypertensive? Whenever a patient has an acute cardiac ischemia, ST segment is elevated, same person, there is a severe hypertension also. So how do you manage when there is an acute cardiac ischemia, same time a hypertension is there, what is the best antihypertensive as a choice? Kushbu asks a very good question. Why glucagon is given in beta blocker overdoses? Excellent. I am waiting for someone to ask that question. See, when beta blocker receptors are there, right? They act on the beta receptors on the heart, beta 1 receptors. So, when they are all blocked, right? There are still the leftover few number of receptors. They don't respond to a beta agonist. Rather, they respond to glucagon. So, glucagon and beta agonists, both of them can act on the beta 1 receptors. That is what you need to appreciate. That's the reason we use glucagon. Right? Now, um, I am seeing A versus C. A versus C. Come on, shoot your other answers. Yes, shoot your other answers, Doc. Seema. Nifedipine, Yasir, Thaizaid. Why on the planet Earth only Sean Chako is our cardiologist, DM Cardiology from All India Institute? 
Lebetalol, doctor. Lebetalol, beta blocker, is considered to be the best initial antihypertensive whenever there is an associated acute cardiac ischemia is what you need to remember.